Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> my three days has officially come to an end it's time for me to go back to work <laughs> it was a fun three days so i drank like i was drinking i normally don't drink but you know i need to take a step back from life and enjoy <laughs> i drank at home by the way like i didn't go out to drink it feels so good <clears throat> It feels good. Back to work. Back to YouTube. <laughs> Back to TikTok. Back to the gym. I just wanted to say good morning and I will talk to you all when I come back home. I need to go get ready for work. I wonder if anyone misses me. <laughs> I think they miss me. I have anxiety like just going back to work. I'm like, hello? <laughs> I'm like, hello? Hello, I'm home. Come say home. Let's go to the gym. Oh, my brother's home. Hi, Diane. I just left the gym. I'm gonna walk home. It's currently 10 p.m. Good morning, everyone. Last night after the gym, I was editing some videos for my TikTok and then I fell asleep at around midnight. When I went to work, I told some people about my LASIK and i think it's best that i keep my mouth shut <laughs> honestly like no one wants to hear it and i don't think anyone cares they do care but like i don't think they're happy for me <laughs> to be honest so i am gonna keep my mouth shut i'm just a normal girl working my boss texted me this morning and we have a lot of work to do <laughs> it's so crazy i just want to say it's crazy that when I put in the work, everything else will work for me. I go to my 9 to 5 job and they see my performance and then they want to promote me and give me a raise. I go to the gym, I put in the work, I'm losing weight. Like, I'm also putting the work into my social media. I'm growing. It's crazy. All I have to do is put in the work. I am going to go get ready for work. And I'll see you all when I get home. Hello everyone. May I have that, you know that little plate where you put the spoon or something on? Down there. There's like a oh no, in here. It's mine. What the heck? Wait, what? Yeah, I see Rihanna and your mom use it or something. I don't know why the fashion is kind of like fire in there. Wait, is it not in here? Oh, is it this way? That's no. the order. No, it's okay. This one works. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I just got home from work and Sally is here. Hi, Sally. Hi. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to cut some onions. I thought you did. No, I didn't. Well, that was so cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yes. Sally is cooking in the kitchen. Ooh. Kind of messed up. Ooh. So we got tofu, carrot, and broccoli. 
some eggplant. I'll add this. I'll add the egg later. Yum. Hello, everyone. Yes, I just got home from work. Sally is my brother's girlfriend. She is staying over for the weekend. It's nice to have her here. Another female in the house. And yes, she will be moving in with me and my brother. How was my day at work? My day at work was fun. No, actually, my day at work was so busy. <laughs> My day at work was so busy. I guess it's Easter weekend. My manager was so happy that I came into work today because we did so much work. She was over it when I came in. <laughs> no, but we stayed strong and we got through it. Tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday fun day. I'm going to work. You know, I enjoy what I do. I love work. And I love content creation and I love going to the gym. It's a part of my lifestyle and I can get used to this. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be so hard for me when I leave work and I'm fully financially stable with my content creation but I'll wait until that day comes. <laughs> going to work for eight hours or seven hours, it just keeps my mind away from life i would say and it just puts me into work mode i'm moving my body i'm meeting a lot of people i'm talking to people socialization it keeps me busy for eight hours for seven hours and then when i come home i really like i grind outside of work i heard that the real work is outside of your nine to five job i enjoy what i do like when it is my day off I'm usually like editing or running errands, just, uh, I love it. I feel so happy, happiness within y'all. Like, I don't depend on anyone to make me happy. I don't want to depend on anyone. I am responsible for me and my feelings and my life. No one is. <laughs> I am going to the gym. I don't view it as a negative thing. I view going to the gym to get better, to get stronger. And then losing weight is part of the process. Hi, I'm home from the gym. My brother's girlfriend, Sally, made me dinner. She's so sweet. Oh, and she got me flowers for my birthday. She's so sweet, oh my gosh. Ooh, tonight's menu is orange chicken and tofu stir fry with rice. I was looking at myself in the mirror in the gym and that feeling of when you're losing weight and you no longer fit your shirt is like oversized. When I was looking at myself in the mirror, I was like, I need to work on this, this, and that. <laughs> I'm just like nitpicking myself and I love it because I am a work in progress. I guess I move really slow in life and that's fine. We all move at our own pace. I am going to eat dinner. I will see you all tomorrow. Happy Easter by the way. Hello everyone. I'm back home from the gym. Oh my gosh, there's just too much going on. <laughs> Wow, this was me a year ago, May 8, 2022. This was me one year ago. In May, we went to the Padres game in San Diego, California. I was so shy. This is not me. <laughs> this is me, but like, big version. Unhealthy. This morning, I woke up really tired and I did not take a shower this morning. I did not wear my contacts this morning. My mom is calling me. Hello? Hi, mom. Yeah, Kathleen, yeah. Good morning, ma. 
Yeah, then I'm um, gonna My mother called me. Mommy. Mommy, hello. Hello, everyone. I'm kind of tired. I'm pretty tired today. I got some new socks. I don't want to buy clothes yet because I'm still working on my body. I got more hummus. <laughs> this is the classic, the red pepper. Oh, and I also got... Okay, so I wanted to talk to y'all. Remember how I said no more outside food for me? Well, that's changing because I thought of this word called balance. <laughs> yes, we need to have balance, Catherine. The last grocery haul run, I was buying junk food. It was all junk. I'm just gonna straight up and say it. But I'm really proud of myself because I'm not spending that money at a fast food chain or a fast food restaurant. Like, I narrowed myself down to grocery store. And then now that I bought all this junk, now it's making me more aware of what I'm buying. And I'm like cutting out the junk food a little bit. And I'm heading towards the health section. Balance, Catherine. Also, I will go out to restaurants when it's like a special occasion or when I have cravings. Because I, I can't just cut out everything, if you know what I mean. It has to be like balance. <laughs> Today was a busy day. I didn't even take my last break because, I don't know, I just work straight. Your girl needs to get the work done. And there's only one of me, but I had a good day. I love Mondays and I love Sundays. I love what I do on Monday. And I love that I can move freely now, like my back is not hurting. <laughs> yeah, my back is not hurting anymore. Well, there's like some pain, it's not severe. But I was writing in my journal today. I'm so proud of you, Catherine. Like you are fighting your demons every day. And I feel like my journal helps me because I get to read through it. Just move forward from my demons. In the past, I would go to Wingstop, McDonald's, Jack in the Box. You know, like all these fast food places. And then I just, I slowly stop. Like, I don't think I need it anymore. It's more of a, what's it called? It's more of a treat instead of a want. Like, I don't want it anymore. I want to eat healthier. <laughs> Those were the times I was struggling, fighting my demons, the urge to just spend a couple dollars for something temporary. Well, I was tired when I started this video. <laughs> so yes, it is currently 7 p.m. I am going to go to the gym. I've been lifting more. Like, I've been lifting weights. I'm still a work in progress. There's still some fat. This is an analogy. I think of my body like this. And the more you rip from it, like even though you don't see a change, it's still going down. Because it was like puffy. Like it fits this whole thing. And then just slowly rip away. That's how I view my body. And let's go hit the gym. Today is my day off. This morning, I got ready. I went to my dentist appointment. Come to find out, the doctor had to reschedule all the patients to another date. I enjoy doing TikTok videos. I feel like it's more of a journal now, diary, fitness journey. My YouTube as well, like it's a journey <laughs> with my life. I'm just working in silence. I'm not like putting myself out there too much. I'm just like flying under the radar <laughs> consistently. I don't know how I feel when it comes to attention. I just, I don't know how to handle it. I feel so overwhelmed. I'm just like, uh. So I'm just working on myself. I'm keeping my head down and just powering through. My outro is... Always remember to take care of yourself and continue to always walk in your truth. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.